Hello there, this is BaseNar5, and welcome back to our English Let's Play series. In the last episode, we went ahead and took off a little bit more clay off of Aragon, or, and we downsized Portugal, and we were at war with Austria there for a little bit, courtesy of Portugal, and we've expanded Prussia, because we were also at war with Poland and Lithuania. A bunch of exciting little wars, but while I was away, or in between episodes, I was just looking around to see what's going on, and I looked inside the Empire just to see if an elector had converted. You know, just looking around, looking around. And then I clicked on the Platinum, and they're Orthodox. And I was like, I've never seen an Orthodox elector. And that turns out they're underneath the PU of Russia. And then I'm like, how did that happen? Like, you start as a Whittlebox, so I would imagine, you know, anyone in uh, Bavaria or Denmark to get that. Or, like, Austria. But not the Russia. Russia's kind of threw me for a loop there. So that was a little weird. And then, so we do have that, and then we also have Saxony. We have two people that are of a different religion. I'm not sure if the uh, event can fire off of an Orthodox Selector. Um, just because that's kind of a, a strange one. Go ahead and get some more claims. How does Brandenburg have a claim on that? You're a little far away. I guess it's when they're trying to form the, uh, the North German Confederation. Claim there. Want more trade stuff. Nothing really trade noteworthy there. Um, There's just a lot of development there for Silk. I think we'll go to war here with uh, the Netherlands and take uh, Holland for ourselves. So we can get up the, above our 71% trade. Why are there pirates here? Denmark, why do you have pirates in my land? Or in my uh, my sea? You're taking 4% from me. The Netherlands have 13% and Burgundy has 9%. So I think going to war with uh, with the, uh, the Netherlands is justified at this moment. We're letting our navy repair a little bit because I, I neglected it a little bit. Actually, just that one boat is kind of damaged, so let's go ahead and just send you over there. You have three, or like, ten heavies. That is not enough to uh, fight me. We will go for Amsterdam. Call it for ourselves, go to war. Burgundy has graciously given us access already, courtesy of the fact that they are an ally. No, we do not have military access for you. I thought we already did. Yeah, we do. Oh, uh, it must be a fort in the way. Ah, you tricked. Is indeed in the way. Where's the other army? Oh, you're down here helping Castillo out. Doing just fine. You can take that guy. There you go. Oh, actually, the king is actually a really good leader. Oh, no, this guy's still better. Good. Go after Utrecht. You are destroying the... Uh, yeah, you just obliterated the, uh, the Dutch navy. They have a couple heavies, but we're blockading now. Let's see, getting ready to be capped on military points. Hmm. What to do with all of our spare military points? Probably dev. You know, it's kind of the simple answer. Um, there's not currently an institution. Hey, extra free pop in one of our colonial nations is good. Let's see. I think whales probably get devved up. Well, they're a different culture. We're technically not considered an empire yet. Is that is that right? Yeah, we're 44 dev away from being able to call ourselves an empire, and then we get a cultural union on here, on the Welsh. Sure. Go ahead and take some military points. Got 6% war score, courtesy of our blockade. Yeah, I wish, kind of wish it just did one giant sum. Barda has fallen for a one war score, very nice. And we'll lose the 100 ducats, not a big deal. I believe this is a capital as well, this is a level 3 fort, right? Yeah, it is. All right, we'll say hi to that army, little 1k, and we go south. We can go say hi to the Venetians and everyone else. That army just uh, ate a brick. Say goodbye. France is going to go carpet siege. Siege of Liege is over. The Dutch navy has been obliterated. I still got a couple heavies, but the point has been made. Go to Calais and you can go and get some repairs. I don't think I've built a dockyard there yet. You can go ahead and go there. Burgundy, are you also at war with them? No, you're at war with other people. Who are you at war with? And why? You, this must be a defensive war. Attacker against Baden in the Strasbourgian conquest of Baden. Yeah, it is a defensive war. Liege, you want... Actually, can we convert you? 
you are reformed right now, but I kind of want you to be Anglican, honestly. There you go. We're just going to slowly recruit more people to our, uh, our religion. Well, there went the Venetian army. Just got deleted. The, uh, the Dutch are avoiding us a little bit. That's okay. I don't really mind. Let's go for Friesland. You really think you can blockade my army? Yeah, didn't think so. Let's go kill that piece of artillery. It is the capital of the Dutch. We'll be taking that for ourselves. Alright, bye Venice. You had a cute army while it was here. France is going ahead and occupying or taking the one forge. Let's go say hi to the, uh, the Dutch. Diplo tech cost reduction for trading in uh, glass is fine. Didn't capture any boats, but their navy is completely gone. You guys go ahead and just repair in London then. Prussia has died. Are you taking back your one province? It looks like it. You have no air, but you're 19, so odds of that happening are pretty slim. Still have Milan as a chance for a PU. Yeah, different dynasty. You actually have female on the throne. Not that particularly mad. Oh no, I'll let your army get destroyed by the Oldenburg separatists. Just because it's kind of funny. I'll have to fight these rebels anyways. Let's go say out of the Venetians. Uh, if we take that province. So, not a big deal. Let's go do another conversion. Volts on our little island. That's uh, a bit annoying. But not a big deal. Alright, took out those rebels real quick. There goes the Venetian army. Let's go say hi to this army. And Venice, do you just want peace? Yeah, give me some cash. I like money. Money is good. Alrighty. Dutch, you're probably not going to like this peace deal. Alright, let's come on down to France so we can actually go ahead and transport our army onto the little island so we can get that back. Extra income from vassals. Not really our highest priority, but uh, we are getting uh, three ducats from Castile. Look at you guys go. Yep, the rebels were successful. They're going to be successful all across these islands, which is a pity. Alrighty, I think we're ready for peace. I want that bitch coalition. It's not big enough for me to really care. Give me your new world stuff because you don't deserve it. No colonizing for you. Should be enough. Give me some cash. And we shall make peace. This may piss off Burgundy, but that's okay. There you go. Now we can go ahead and become an emperor. Empire. Gives us 25 prestige. Go. Lots of accepted cultures. Cultural union. Does that mean it's now green? Yes. It's now deemed... Ex Why is Highlander not an accepted culture after that? Explain yourself. That's interesting. Oh well, let's go and core our three provinces. Oh no, I don't actually need to colonize the the, uh, the New World stuff. That's going to go to Colonial Nation at the end of the month. Russia, you are asking me to join you. I shall gladly protect you. I don't know why you called me in against this. It's just the Ringia. <laughs> the Ringia is kind of a joke. You've already won the war, guy. But I, I appreciate your sentiment of thinking that I'm all high and mighty in that regard. You guys are not the same Separatists that will spawn here. Very nice. Oh, and we have another merchant. Let's see, all of it's going that way. 41%. We're collecting here though. So it's slightly different. Not transferring trade here, so Portugal's getting 1.5 of our trade. Does that really make that big of a difference? It's almost all funneling that way. Do we need to fight over here in Brazil? No, actually we need to fight here. That's where we need to fight. Because Portugal's going to transfer everything and then we'll just take everything that they have transferred and send it to ourselves. There you go, there is... Greenland, fully colonized. 
want to go ahead and start working down here in Africa a little bit more. And then we got the Ivory and the Gold Coast here. Yeah, the Ivory Coast. Is it just Ivory Coast over here? It just generally has a lot of gold, is what I imagine. Well, if I don't need to colonize this, I can go ahead and let like Portugal and Castile colonize that. We come over here. Let's go say hi to Killa. And we'll start bringing some troops all the way down here. Another colony, self-sustaining. Good stuff. Do have a thousand ducats in the bank. Let's go ahead and pay off our loan, because I don't like loans. Just a good habit to have. Could begin the integration of France. Oh, that's right now. We're currently at war. Tis a pity. You guys go ahead and drill. We're going to save this for when our ruler dies, which I am hoping... Oh, we got two ducats for uh, literally not even participating in the war in two favors. There you go, Prussia. You got your core. No air, which is nice. And do we want the extra unrest? Nah. Lose the prestige. I think we're pretty prestigious for the most part. Greenland could be stated, but I'm not really interested in that. Got a new free city. Wait, what? Oh, okay, Westphalia. Oh, you actually formed it. It's been a very long time since I've uh, seen that flag. No, it looks like you kind of just got released, but I'm pretty sure that is a formable nation. Yeah, it looks like Cologne did it or something. No, Cologne still exists. Don't know. Can be capped on military points again. He's 71, guys. He will die someday. Go have that. And you guys did go ahead and land over here. Castile, you've moved your army there to go ahead and get rid of the rebels, but you just haven't quite finished them off yet. The navy was here. Okay, they did get dropped off. There we go. Nope, don't need to bring any more troops. You're, they're good. You need more transport boats in our lines. It'll make this a lot bit easier in the future. Let's just say 50 of them will be enough. Uh, we're going to need some more heavies as well. Got that back. Let's go take our own land back. France did not get the additional separatism, which is nice. Uh, sure, we can bump up the tariff. Portugal, you lost another province. You're under a PU... Is your junior partner of Brazil? What? How did Brazil break off and get you? <laughs> Alright, that one's kind of funny. <laughs> We have English Particulist, okay. Where are you guys gonna spawn? Is that down here? Yeah. Actually, we're just gonna add you to the trade node. Because you guys are Anglican. Uh, Castile, we're probably gonna go ahead and convert you. Uh, we can afford trade company investments. I have not actually clicked that at all. Is that under... There we go. I've never actually looked at this before. Build a harbor. Extra trade power. Local goods, local tax modifier, okay. Defensiveness, don't really care about. Local goods produced for a harbor. Can I only have one? Or, oh no, it's because I don't have enough money. Gotcha. Income from vassals plus 10%. Guys, I really don't need your money, to be honest. Like, you're good little vassals, but uh, I'm good. Your money can stay. Oh, I ended up having a particular spawn. Alright, you guys go ahead and get land or land on this army. Let us see. Go ahead, promote investment, increase the trade power, causing an annual of 0.03 inflation. I don't really want inflation in my life, to be honest. No longer need to support the uh, loyalist inside of France. 44 is just good enough. Castile, we're going to go ahead and force your religion. So that way you follow anything you colonize will now also be of our religion. Alrighty, Aragon, I think it's time that we... Oh no, we do still have a truce. Hmm, I would totally go after you then. Alright, make the burgers happy. Oh, we got another merchant now. That must be courtesy of our... Yeah, we have uh, the dominant trade here, about 50%. That was very easy to do. Whatever happened to this colonist here? Oh, he's still coming. Let's go send a guy here to the Ivory Coast. Oh no, this is a, we're, lo we're looking at merchants, not colonists. Brazil, you're doing fine. 
We're forwarding properly here. Here as well. Actually, a little bit stank, but that's okay. I'd probably prefer to uh, funnel it a little bit more proper. Actually, this goes there. Yeah, I want to go to the north. So also feed more trade here down. 59% there, Lubeck. Looks like Saxe's going to War of Thring. Yeah, okay. Well, they, they did end up breaking the PU with you, so. And Lubeck is up to 29% trade here. Hmm. Lubeck, do you want to give me your trade power maybe eventually? The answer is no. That is a hard no. <laughs> Alright, you guys come on over here. Form the army back up. Increase prestige. See, I wish it was in this menu here that you could do the investments, because... Oh, we died. Two Sicilies has formed as well. Instead of going into here and going... Well, this is also... This is just one giant? No, it's not a giant one. Local production efficiency. Local trade power sure can get bumped up. Interesting. What is a thousand? Naval supply limit. Or naval force limit. This is really army tradition. Wow. Battleship township. Or British township, yeah. <laughs> Local taxes. Okay, so they do different stuff. Land force limit. Okay, that's actually pretty cool that you can throw money into stuff like that. All right. So we're actually going to go ahead and get ready to start going for the chop chop achievement now. Now that we've uh, got a new leader, we have had six separate consorts for one monarch. This is a young guy. We don't currently have an heir. Uh, how for religion? We do have 162, so we will go for... Actually, we're going to go ahead and wait for our consort. World marriages will not end. Good. So we're going to do a quick toggle of this um, to get to obtain a new uh, royal marriage. Which I do want our royal marriage with Prussia to come back. We want a royal marriage with you. No queen consort, good. Royal marriage there. Oh, we got a queen consort. All right, we're going to do this click so we actually lose our queen consort. Yep, our consort will be divorced. Royal marriage did not end, so there we go. One out of six now. And we're just going to get up to 200 each time and then just click that button twice. To get a new consort and then remove her from our lives. All right, let's go ahead and do another conversion. We are capped on military points again. Sure, just throw them there. That'll work. Go ahead and begin the integration of France. I think this is going to take a little while. For a month for... Normally it tells you for how long. Opinion of subjects will change by 30. Sure. Of almost 3,000 points. Alright, so we're, we got some time there with France. That's what I just wanted to make sure. You guys go ahead and merge. Go over to the board. Nope, we will suffer attrition there. Go to Armour then so you can start drilling. How is our economy doing? We're only getting 26 decades a month. Most of it is in advisors, corruptions, kind of a thing, forts, fleets are expensive. Our army is exuberantly expensive just due to all of our cannons that we have in our lives. Totally okay with that though. Lisa, you can go ahead and become state. Accepted. Um, nothing really special there. Ooh, Sardinia can go ahead and become a state, though. There we go. Missions. The British Empire. Just give us 75 each point. Uh, we're currently good on military points. So we'll hold off on that just because it's just point click. Need Corsica. Could threaten war, probably, for the Papal State. Northern Islands. Naval attrition reduction. Gets permanent claim on Green Greenland. Already done. Click both of those. Let's see. Settle America gets Conquistador. Conquistador. Not really interested. Settle the Americas. We're doing that right now. Monopolize the channel. We're trying as best we can. You guys are going to be stated once you, once you are done. Go ahead and continue. Still nothing here. These you are converting very nicely. I mean, if I have to force it, I'll force it. And then again, I, technically I can't force it, but you know what I mean. I will try my best. 
Pope man, do we go to war with you now? I have claims on you. France has claims on you. I don't really want to fight Burgundy. Oh, the two Sicilies did form because Aragon lost to Naples. Uh, Pope man, can I threaten war? For Corsica. Answer is a hard no. All right, Aragon. Mm, no, we'll go for Castilian claims. And we are going to punch Austria pretty hard. Burgundy, you are fighting in another war. Gotcha. That's fine. Give us a new leader. I don't really like that guy. He's a bit better. At least a little bit better suited for what we are doing. You guys can go there. You are getting more transport boats built by the day. I believe we're only building a lot of these two provinces, though, which isn't exactly the best thing in the world. Galster decided to join our coalition. That's yeah, fine. It's just a small coalition. Another colonist doing his thing. Hey, Castile, you're getting a Louisiana. Okay. Let's see. Uh, yeah, we'll go for a missionary. That will help. All right, let's go ahead and start colonizing over here in Venezuela. So we can get another colonial nation. Ah, there he is. Hey, there is a Brazil. Does that mean we get colonialism against Brazil or not really? Trier decided to join our coalition. Cologne did as well. Uh, hmm. Is this all because I took Dutch land? Still particulars there. Or separatists there in Oldenburg. Goes another colony. Another revolt over there. Oh, that one's inside France, though. France, how do you... Oh, yeah. Well, we did convert your religion. I'm like, how do you have uh, unrest inside your uh, mainland? Explain yourself. But yeah, that one actually makes sense. Ivory Coast. Benin has that at the moment. We'll go ahead and send a colonist there. Thought I already sent one there. Or no. I just talked about it and never did. Probably uh, the latter. Austria, you have begun the invasion. Flat, or the Pope man decided to join the coalition. Sure. Can't say I particularly care. How are we doing? We currently don't have an heir, but that's fine. Uh, Milan just died. Does that mean you have our dynasty? Uh, the answer is yes. I will claim your throne, and I'll declare war on you. Look, I decided to join the coalition. Oh, look, guys, we're just going to get a little bit more uh, aggressive expansion. It's okay. Austria, are you really going to go uh, over there? Milan, who are you friends with? Uh, just Nuremberg. I will tell you that it's not going to go well. Let's say hi to that Austrian army instead. I'm gonna take a river crossing penalty, that's okay. I'll go say hi to the Castilians over there. Austrians actually kind of put up, oh no, they lost almost two to one. I was like, they actually put up a decent fight and that actually really looked closer to the numbers. They weren't as close as I thought. France, you just lost to your rebels. I want you to know that you lost to them. Like, <laughs> it wasn't even a close fight. You guys are still protecting your trade. Good stuff. Transport boats are coming together. That's our heavy boats. Two heavies can come down. France will help you. Uh, you guys can just have the autonomy. I'm not going to bother to click the button. This can go to Castile. If you want it, Castile, you can have it. Let's see, more rebels. Are we at 200? No, we're at 100. I need to wait for that to be at 200. Uh, that's okay, you can break those rebels. It just means less money for me, which I don't particularly care about money at the moment. Hey, there's a full stack wave of that Austrian army. You're gonna throw another one in? Go ahead and shift consolidate so our peak fighting potential. Looks like our front line is kind of garbage right now. This go to Castile. This can also go to Castile. You want this too? No. Why don't you want that one for? <laughs> what is wrong with it? Uh, Castile, if you want to go take that as well. And you can have it. That's Catalonia. That's French. Another conversion. Who wants to join in? Burgundy? Well, come on in. And we'll go declare war in Milan. Uh, we'll currently have a royal marriage. That's okay. I'll lose this stab. There you go. Uh, that army is dying to the Austrians. Not what I like to see. Golden Era on Brandenburg. Still killed more than what we lost, which is good. Uh, 
you definitely, uh, we need to go ahead and force a peace on you. Declare war on the target. I don't really have a truce with you. Oh, good. You left them as a small little OPM. Fantastic. All right, you guys got to go back into somewhere a little bit more protected. Um, but Austria should be stuck inside of Burgundy. Let's see. That looks to be uh, like one of the best locations for that. This go to Castile. Castile's getting ready to lose her capital to Aragon. Do I care? Not really. Not particularly. Got our cores starting to roll in. Need a new queen consort, but I also want to click the button to get rid of her. There goes Milan's army. We're already at 14% day one of siege. How's our army uh, doing? 20,000 manpower in Dutch. You see, let's see. Parliament. You guys rebelled, and same with Bermuda. That's just kind of annoying. Well, you guys are going to teleport around, so it's fine. Norfolk, you can have additional manpower. I want to actually spend some building, or build some buildings to actually help with manpower, because I don't think we've done that, really. We need manpower in our lives. Let's go ahead and convert some more land. It's really not that great. That'll do. Actually, that 21 would have been great for you, Trekt. Did you just threaten me, uh, the Papal State? I don't appreciate your threats. Castile lost their capital. Portuguese separatists rose up where? Oh, in Bermuda. I'm sure it's fine. We'll get it back later. I'm not in a huge rush. Peasants War and Kiwa, sure. And another conversion. But, oh, can't actually convert Utrecht yet. Otherwise, I would. <clears throat> Burgundy, you're destroying the Hungarian army. Congratulations. Hey, extra free pop. And there goes the capital, Milan. Could just make you a vassal. Make you a union, then. That's actually a lot of war score needed to do that. Alright, we'll go over to the capital of Nuremberg. We'll actually forcefully convert them as well. Burgundy's going to go in on this fight. It is a nice mountain, so the Austrians are just losing tons of troops by the uh, the load. In droves. More production. Extra point three six ducats in Porto. Sure. We have plenty of chances to increase our economy overall. Nuremberg, you're going to get converted. Does that mean we're going to have even more heretics inside the empire? The answer is yes. They're currently 30H. You see it. Parliament lost a traitor. Darn. Oh, let's go for improved relations. Uh, that'll help with our aggressive expansion tick decays. Let's go and merge. Did we just get another free colony? Sure. Looks like you're actually starting to colonize yourself, so I don't need to be over there. And there goes Nuremberg. Local death cost reduction. I think we're okay. All right, Nuremberg. Sue for peace. You gotta force your religion and give me some cash. I'm just gonna make you join our religion for why not? Because it's funny. <laughs> Alright, Castile, you're actually doing fine against your rebels. Uh, you've really tamed it down. Alright, Milan, you ready for peace? I would convert you if I could. I'll take your cash. Claim lost, personal union, and we need to improve relations with them. Let's come on back from the uh, Dutch since we're not really going to conquer them anytime soon. Yeah, you only have 43 liberties there, actually, which is actually pretty low. Austria's occupying land, or that was Aragon occupying land. I don't care. Let's go say hi to that English army. <laughs> Milan's already getting reoccupied. <laughs> <laughs> go get him, hungry. <laughs> Milan, this is what you get for uh, being disloyal. Your army gets destroyed, or your promise just gets more devastated. Current devastation is... Oh, it's only 11%. It could be worse. 
Capital of Austria is getting occupied. 10,000 Austrians died again. Oh, that was in our fight over here. Let's go to those staff wipe your 18k. There we go. Hey, free stab. Thank you. I enjoy free stab. Let's go ahead and get our navy up a little bit together. And we'll go ahead and start taking care of some of our uh, rebels that we currently have. Russia, do you want to join? What is this for? Military tech? Sure, we'll take it ahead of time. Not enough boats quite to actually take the whole army like I would like. <clears throat> As I say something, there are two heavies. Do we just stop considering uh, Denmark as a viable uh, rival? Yeah. Force migration. No, I'd rather annex is what I would prefer. Subject liberty desire reduction. That is very nice. That'll help with France. Actually, Milan is also going to be very useful. Love to enforce your religion, but you currently... No. Yeah. No. Oh, yeah, your opinion's kind of low right now. That's okay. Why don't I go ahead and start influencing you as well? Just get the bump. You're probably going to be pretty cheap. 50 ducats to influence you? What is that? Separatists inside France. Uh, we definitely need to help them. <laughs> At some point. They're, they're probably not feeling too well right now. Alright, looks like we got new infantry. And, yep, just infantry. Good. Another conversion. We will continue to convert our own land. Utrecht is going to help. And then we'll probably work on France and Castile. Uh, they only, they're both feeling a little upset right now. Dutch Separatist is indeed a thing in our land. It's okay. Can we statify this? Yep. You are now a state. Galra, you're in a different state, which kind of sucks. Let's go ahead and continue to influence Prussia. Prussia's 24, so... He's still at peak age for uh, getting an heir. How are we doing on our religious clicks? We are at 172, so we're just going to chill. 1.7 will do. Uh, 1.7 for 25 months, so we'll probably hit those up next. Alrighty. Anyone else with potential PU? Not really. Just Milan, which we've already done, which we're going to give them all the land back that we can. Helped France out. Good stuff. Aragon doesn't have an army. Austria, you still have your capital, but Burgundy's moving in on you. That'll help. Alright, let's go ahead and do that. And that is all the time I have for today. If you enjoyed today's episode, please like and subscribe. Have a wonderful day.